Welcome back to Welsh Miniature Board Game, and today we're going to have an unboxing and review of the Deep Cuts Pathfinder Female Dwarf Barbarians. Wow, that was a mouthful. Uh, so we got two of these miniatures in the blister pack, and I think they were about £5 each. It's kind of washed out here and you having trouble seeing. So uh, £5, so that was about £2.50 each, if I remember rightly. And looking at them straight off at the cover well, the back of the box. Yeah, they look okay. I'm um, not sure about the paint job that they've chosen, but we shall have a look at that later on. So first of all, having a look at this first of the female barbarians, and I can't see mould lines on the front of her. Now we're going to have a little look. Of course, the sword is slightly bent at the sides of it, and I can't see any uh, lines along the side, mould lines. It's a little bit under her arm, but not bad at all, actually. That's quite clean, especially when I'm I'm coming off the back of doing the Dwendal, Dwendalin Empire Dwarves from uh, WizKids, which I absolutely despised. So coming off the back of that, these look absolutely amazing. So then we got this other sculpt, which has got like this two, uh, two well, an axe and a hammer, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, she's got a mold line across her hair, which is a bit awkward because obviously uh, that's going to be harder to disguise. Can't see any uh, mold lines along the sides, which look pretty good. Some of it's a bit indefined of what exactly certain parts are. Like the, some of the, the shoulder pads on the other arm kind of like taper off and it's kind of hard to see what exactly is happening there but you know we'll see once we get it painted what what it ends up looking like so jump ahead a couple of weeks and here is what I painted up so here are what they look like painted up and this is the first one this is the one I thought was probably the better of the two uh, sculpts or better of the two sculpts that came out in the actual process. And I think she looks really good. I did her with uh, burning red hair. So she's kind of like a red Sonia dwarf. Uh, being a barbarian, she looks pretty cool. I kept her in uh, leather armor because, yeah, you know, that she is meant to be a barbarian. And she does look pretty darn good, even if I say so myself. I'm, I'm really quite impressed and quite happy with how she turned out. Uh, I put them on like the 25mm raised bases because I kind of like those bases more than um, the flat ones for dwarves, you know, it raises them up a little bit and makes them a little bit more interesting, you know. Uh, so then on to the second one of the sculpts, I gave her metal armour because it looked like more like she was wearing metal armour, so moving away really from the barbarian that she's meant to be, but still, you know. I'm, I'm not, a, you know, I'm not going to tie it in just because they said it was a barbarian. It is a barbarian. I would say she's more of a warrior. And again, she looks really good. That uh, mold line on the top of her head, you kind of can see it even when I did try and, you know, sort of cut grooves to try and break it. And, you know, meh. the the hair colour I like. And I think they're really nice looking miniatures. I got no problem with these whatsoever. Uh, yeah. Uh, and, and a nice change from painting those previous dwarves, which I really didn't like. So her next to a Reaper Bones miniature. Yep, the sizes look comparable. You know, she is shorter, obviously. But, you know, I'm guessing there are shorter and taller dwarves around. Uh, against the female Reaper dwarf. Yeah, again, she's standing on a slightly higher rock, so maybe if she was down a little bit lower, they would be of a very comparable height. Against the Durgar, perfectly fine again. So as you can see, they line up against other dwarves, you know, quite nicely. You know, they don't look out of place. And at least the proportions are more correct than these WizKids monstrosities that I reviewed last time. I reviewed these, uh, reviewed some dwarves. So yeah, I like these and I would recommend you getting them, unlike uh, the previous ones. So against a human, yep, yeah, just about perfect height, I would say, you know, sort of lower chest height or, you know, around there. And that's what I would say a dwarf should be. So it's up to you whether you get them, but personally, I like them and I think that you could do a lot worse than getting these. So, 
please leave a like if you can or, and comment and I will reply. But until next time, it's going to be goodbye from me, Welsh Miniature Board Gamer.